Argentina has officially signed a deal to acquire 24 X Danish F-16 fighter jets, mainly due to their attractive price tag of less than $24 million per unit, which is half the cost of Tejas aircraft. India has imposed fresh port restrictions on the export of prohibited or restricted essential commodities to Maldives. The Indian Air Force has released a request for information for the procurement of medium-power radars from domestic vendors. Ordnance Factory has successfully conducted the field trials of 32 km range 155 mm high explosive bullet shells developed jointly in association with DRDO. Garuda Aerospace demonstrated its drony drone to the Indian Army, which weighs only 249 grams, and has 60 minutes endurance for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. While the new 97 Tejas Mark 1A contract stipulates a base level of 65% indigenization, HAL is aiming to surpass this target to achieve 70% through internal initiatives. Recent satellite imagery has revealed a new radar installation just northeast of Bengaluru, which is likely the deployment site for the Phase 2 of India's ballistic missile defense program, to protect Bangalore and Hyderabad from ballistic missile attacks. Indian Navy's stealth frigate INS Talwar intercepted a suspicious vessel, and the Marcos apprehended 940 kg narcotics from the vessel. First International Workshop on Emerging Technologies and Challenges for Exoskeleton was organized by DRDO in Bangalore. Greece has extended an offer to India to acquire its fleet of 15 Mirage 2000 fighter jets, and the offer was presented by Greek military general Dimitrios Hoopis during his recent visit to New Delhi. The offered Mirage 2000 are a valuable proposition, as they are less than 25 years old, and they have airworthy airframes with an estimated operational life of another 15 years. Indian Air Force's decision will involve a cost-benefit analysis, considering India's existing fleet and specific training requirements. The Sora will light tank is undergoing extensive internal testing at Larsen and Tubro, focusing on automotive performance, software functionality, stabilization systems, and various other crucial aspects. This initial phase will be followed by summer field trials next month putting the tank through its paces in real-world conditions, after which it will face its ultimate test of high-altitude deployment. French firm Naval Group has offered its M940 OSN mine countermeasures vessel to the Indian Navy in partnership with an undisclosed Indian shipyard, that features very low acoustic electrical and magnetic signatures, making them difficult for mines to detect. Naval Group's proposal leverages Indian shipbuilding capabilities while providing access to advanced technology like integration of surface drones, underwater drones and aerial drones for mine detection, classification and neutralization. As per latest media reports, the Indian Air Force and the RDO are all set to conduct developmental trials of Astra Mark II missile in full configuration. The Astra Mark II will be tested soon for an electronic target engagement, in which its ASA seeker will be tested. Second round of tests will see assessing the missile's accuracy in a realistic combat simulation with a maneuvering target with use of pilotless target aircraft. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.